Hello everyone, my name is Marcelo and on this tutorial we will learn about Wildmation in YPath Studio Web and we will learn by creating automation here on this web page, YBank, where we'll submit a loan application and then we will check if the loan was approved or not and if it's approved we'll extract the loan rate and the loan ID. So uh, let's get started by accessing uh, Studio Web. So uh, to access YPath Studio Web, first we need to log in into our YPath Automation Cloud, and then click here where it says Studio. And now uh, let's create a new project. So here let's define the project name, and now let's create it. And now that the project is created, let's just see the wild mission activities that are available. So let's click here to search for activities. And here let's search for Y automation. And here we can see the wild mission related activities. So here we can recognize activities from YPath Studio desktop version, like this screenshot, check up state, type into, and so on. So uh, the first step is to open uh, the browser on this page. So here we can see uh, the URL ybank.ypath.com slash loans slash apply. So uh, first, uh, make sure you open this page. And now uh, to open the browser, we'll use the use browser activity, this one. So let's click on it. And just to highlight, at the moment that I'm recording this tutorial, well, YPath Studio Web, it's only able to do wild mission in the browser, more specifically the Chrome browser. So uh, make sure you automate here uh, on the Chrome browser. So first, uh, as a requirement, we need to install an extension on our uh, browser so let's click here on install extension and let's add uh, this extension and now that the extension is added we are able to automate uh, the browser with YPath Studio Web so now uh, let's just close uh, this tab and here on working tab we must select the tab that we want to automate so now if we click here will appear the tabs that we have opened in our browser. So here we can see YVank. So let's uh, select it. And if it doesn't appear, make sure you refresh uh, the web page, the YVank uh, web page. And here we can see that was taken a screenshot. And here we can see the URL of the page. So now inside of the use browser activity, we'll execute the Y automation activities that will automate the browser. So uh, the next step is to fill the form fields. So let's start by the first one, email address of requester. So here we'll use a type into activity. So let's click here and search for type into. And let's add activity. And now, First, we have to indicate uh, the field. So let's click here on indicate target on screen. And let's indicate. And now let's confirm. So here let's define what should be inserted on the field. So let's here uh, insert a fake email address that doesn't exist like test. Uh, dot test dot com for example so uh, here I will just rename this activity to type into and then I will have here email address of requester so now a uh, next field will use also type into activity to insert the loan amount requested so we can copy this activity by doing control C 
and we can see that was copied so now let's do a control b to paste and make sure that it's inside of the use browser activity so now let's indicate the second field by clicking on this plus button plus icon and now let's indicate the field and here let's indicate for example a 1000 and let's edit uh, the activity name this is not needed uh, to rename the activity it's just to distinguish better uh, each activity uh, so now let's do control b again because we have the activity on our clipboard and now uh, for the third activity we can see that it's a drop down so uh, we'll use uh, the select item activity that it's also from webpads to the desktop version that allows us to select an item from a drop down menu so let's just remove this activity and now let's add a new one and let's search for select item and here he is let's add it and now uh, we have to indicate the drop down and now here on item to select we can see that was extracted the items available on this drop down so here i will select 10 now let's just rename here to one term now uh, next field we'll use a type bit activity so let's do a control b and now let's indicate the field and here let's edit the activity name so here uh, let's insert for example on current early income for example a random number like this one and so a uh, last field age field so we'll use also a type it activity to insert the age so here let's indicate the field oops uh, mistake let's here uh, indicate again Let's confirm so here can be for example uh, 40 for example here let's replace by age and so uh, to submit now after fill the farm fields we need to click here on the submit loan application so to click on the submit loan application button we'll use a click activity so let's search here for a click And let's indicate the button so uh, if we execute now automation it should open a browser uh, fill the form fields and submit uh, the loan application but if we run it we'll not see it running on our local machine as we are used to because the automations uh, built on studio web uh, runs on the cloud instance and we are not able to see the automations running on our local machine so basically to see what's happening on the automation we have to use a take screenshot activity to take a screenshot of uh, uh, the page on our case of the this web page so uh, let's have here a take screenshot activity And so let's take a screenshot after submit the loan application. So here let's just insert some random values. And so uh, let's indicate uh, this screen to take a screenshot. So let's click here, indicate target on screen. And now let's click here, for example, so we take a screenshot of this uh, container 
So uh, let's confirm. And now to be able to see the screenshot, we need to upload it on our Google Drive account, for example. So uh, here, let's add activity to upload the file to our uh, Google Drive. So here, let's search for upload files. And if you want, you can also upload to the OneDrive. It's your choice. So I will upload to my Google Drive. So first we need to connect to our account. So let's click here on connect now. And now uh, let's click. And now let's select here the account to be used. And now let's continue. So the connection is done. Now we have to indicate the file to be uploaded. So the one from uh, the screenshot. So here, uh, let's click on this field. And now let's search here for the take screenshot. So here we can see uh, that was uh, created a variable that represents our file. So let's select the file here on save and me. Oops. Uh, let's here indicate so now that we have indicated the file to be uploaded we need to indicate the folder uh, to be uploaded on Google Drive so let's click here on this icon and now here we can navigate on our Google Drive folder so on my drive let's do a double click to open and here I upload to this folder YPAD Studio Web YVAN Tutorial. So I'll do double click and now click on save. So if we execute null automation, it should fill the form fields, submit a loan application, and then take a screenshot and upload it to our Google Drive. So let's run our automation by clicking here on run. And now we'll not see uh, here anything on the screen. So because it's running on a cloud instance and not on our local machine. So let's just wait. So we can see that I got here exception on the take screenshot that basically was not found the Y helmet. So uh, let's stop here and decay again. Uh, the element so here let's click on indicate target and now let's indicate so here let's indicate and uh, here and make sure you here on inner text is uh, let's here ignore maybe it was because of this because the text changes so the rate and the loan ID or maybe the loan was not approved so Make sure here you ignore the text. I think it could be the cause of the exception. So let's confirm and run again automation. And now our automation finished successfully. Here we can see the logs and no exception. So let's check our Google Drive. So here we can see that was uploaded a file to my Google Drive folder. And here we can see that the loan was approved. So we can see here the rate and the loan ID. So our automation, it's running well. I submitted a loan application and here we can see the result of the loan application. So now let's add the check to see if the loan was approved or not. And if it is, uh, we'll extract the APR and the loan ID. So to check if the loan is approved, we will uh, check if this text appears or not. So we'll use the check app state activity. So here, uh, let's add a new activity and let's search for check app state. And now let's indicate uh, the element
So now let's confirm. So if this element exists, that means that a loan was approved and we'll extract uh, the APR and the loan ID. If not, it means that was not approved. So here on if exists, uh, let's extract these two values. So here, let's search for a get text to extract the text from the field. And so here, let's indicate first this one. And now because duplicates was found, uh, let's add Azure to discriminate between similar elements as it says here. So the answer could be here, this label uh, with a fantastic rate of that it's related to this value. So now it's okay, let's confirm. And then let's add another get text to extract the loan ID. And now let's confirm. And so, and now let's just rename here the first get text adding a loan rate. And now the second one with loan ID. So uh, let's add a log message to log the loan rate and loan ID if the loan is approved. So here on if exists, let's add a new activity, a log message. And so here on message, let's open the text builder. And here first let's insert loan rate. And now let's call the variable that stores the loan rate. So here on the get test loan rate, let's click on save to, and let's click again here on save to. So by this way, we will get access to the extracted loan rate. And now uh, let's here add so uh, the loan ID. So now let's search for the variable that stores the loan ID. So here on the get text loan ID, let's here select the variable and let's save. And now uh, let's add just a log message here on if not exists when the loan is not approved. So here let's add a log message. And so uh, the message can be loan not approved. And here log level can be info. So uh, let's see how it's running. So let's run our automation. It's running well, as we can see here. So the automation finished successfully. And here we can see the extracted loan rate and loan ID. So let's see here our uh, screenshot. And here we can see our new screenshot. And here we can see the loan rate, this one is 6% and the loan ID. So now just to end, let's make here the loan to be not approved. So here on Nash, let's insert 12 for example so this will make the loan to not be approved so uh, let's run again and see if the loan is not approved and to see if will appear so this log message and the screenshot uh, that shows us that the loan was not approved and here we can see the logs loan not approved so uh, let's check here our screenshot. And here we can see the new screenshot. And as you can see, the loan was not approved. So our automation is working as expected. So if you like this tutorial, please give a thumbs up. And also consider to subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so you'll get notified on each tutorial that I launch here on the channel.